Hi, this is Dr. Mercola, and we've had loads of requests to find out what I eat for breakfast, and I thought it would be helpful to prepare a video to show you just exactly how I put my breakfast together. And this is the breakfast that I use pretty much every day, even when I'm traveling in hotels, and I'm able to, to take most of this, uh, these materials with me so I can have a really healthy breakfast. And my thought and philosophy is that if you can optimize your breakfast, you've got a great start to the day, especially providing one with most of all this, the basic essential nutrients you'll need. Now, you know one of my primary focuses is to really have food as simply and unprocessed as possible and ideally raw if at all possible and we incorporate many of the elements of that in here so the basis of it is we start with raw eggs now when you include raw eggs uh, into the shake you will not see a texture difference because that's usually why most people object to it on a texture basis it doesn't taste good so I like to use the raw eggs first and I typically I get these from a local farmer you can get organic eggs at a, at a grocery store. It's the second best, and sometimes I rely on those. But it's best that you get it from a farmer because they, they're not required by law to process the outside of the eggs, which can cause a problem. So I get these from a local farmer. And I uh, actually, uh, these happen to be double yolks. So I just take two, and I put this in first because occasionally you'll get a bad egg. As you can see, there's two yolks in that egg. And uh, then I do another one. So I have, I'm having four yolks. And the reason I do this first is that in case one of these eggs are bad, and occasionally, once a month, every few months, will be a bad egg, this way you can throw it out and you don't waste any other ingredients. So I put that, those in first. Then my favorite protein is the Miracle Way, specifically the banana flavor. It is just absolutely amazing. Uh, it's shockingly how good this tastes. And there's, there's, there literally, literally is no uh, sweetener in here, the only uh, least uh, traditional sweetener we use uh, herbal sweetener called Lohan, which gives it its very good flavor. I typically use two heaping scoops in there. Put this straight in. And then I like to put a, a fiber, a source of fiber, and you know most traditional psyllium is uh, flooded with pesticides, and, and so you really want to get an organic psyllium, and we do get one that's certified organic from uh, Organic India, it's called Fiber Harmony. And I use this, or I use a combination of sometimes uh, some chia seed powders. So I just put a scoop of that in there. Might be a full scoop because it's going to be a little bit too much. Put that into the mix. And then I like to uh, add some coconut. Now, some, if you don't like the taste of coconut, or if you're really a, a strong carb type, then it probably is not a great idea for you. But when I'm traveling, or if I don't have access to it, I'll use uh, something from Thai Kitchen, this organic coconut milk and don't get the low fat one, get the regular full fat version. Just open up and use that and occasionally I'll alternate that with some shredded raw coconut, ideally organic. And I'll just take a few scoops of this, put this in the mixture. Now, and that's, it's good to go. And then the next step is to add the fluid. Now you can add water. It will work perfectly well with this. But I'd like to optimize and boost it further and use raw milk. Uh, you could use traditional milk or conventional pasteurized milk, but I wouldn't recommend that. And uh, most of the time, you, if you do get raw milk, you want to get it in glass. It typically comes in glass ball jars like this uh, because then you don't have any concerns with the plastic. And just pour this in here. I like to fill it up close to the top. And as I said, you can use water. It's uh, not as nutritious, but it'll certainly work. Now, here is another uh, in innovation that, I, that many people may not be aware of as a simple opportunity. Now, you're actually putting this into a, a mason jar, so there's a, a wide mouth mason jar, otherwise, this won't fit. I use a hand mixer. Uh, I got this one at my favorite store, Costco, but you can certainly get them online, get them on Amazon. And you just snap it together and push it in. And literally, in about 15 seconds, it's mixed. That's it. And uh, you take it out of here and then just disconnect it. And the reason I like this is that literally it, you can clean this in about three to five seconds. So you just run this under some water and uh, it'll rinse off real clearly, just on both sides. When you use a traditional mixer that, or blender, there's a lot more cleanup process involved. So that's why I like using this approach. And uh, this is my protein shake. Delicious, and especially that coconut in there, it just gives it an amazing texture. 
So this is what I have for breakfast every day. Right now, <clears throat> we're shooting this in the middle of the day, and I'm just in about a few minutes, I'm going to go be going to a full one-hour strength training workout. So I'm going to be using this afterwards because it, not a, not, in addition to making a great protein uh, breakfast, this is phenomenal when you're working out right afterwards because typically your body's going to require some protein to repair itself and give your body the essential nutrients to build muscle. And this, there's very few drinks that will do it better than this one. So hopefully you found this useful. It's something that I just absolutely love. It's taken me quite a while to adopt this specific process, but if you try it, I think you'll really like it. It'd be a great tool for you and your family to continue to take control of your health.